Hi everyone, I'm Francesco Wine, W7 Lima Tango Golf, and I'm, I talk, want to talk about the ASU 991A general operation and plus how to hook up your USB connection. So if you guys have the 991A and the computer, you're going to get the, spe the special cable USB to your computer to a 4 pin uh, printer jack, printer cable that fits it back in 991A. And so uh, that will hook up to your computer. Now you must go down to yesu.com and download the software for, uh, you can use it for you know, normal operations on your computer. You can actually type and do anything you want. Push buttons or anything, you could do it right there on your computer instead of the radio. Uh, it's bigger, everything's out there, you can see it, you don't have to go in the menus so much. Uh, if you want to try that, you, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's also available to do a remote. So if you get the USB cable, you can actually set up a remote system. And uh, that is the software device, buy eventually. It'll give you a 30 day trial, and you must download the driver, the driver for COM port. So oh, that's the only thing that you need to do, and the cable, and then uh, once you program it in, hey, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'll show you how this all works. So let's go to the 991A and show you how it works. I'm Francesca Wine for W7LTG. Okay, this is uh, the ASU 991A. I'm going to turn it on for you. And we're going to do general programming on this. And I'll even maybe use a little bit of wire X. So, we're in our regular screen. We're on LSB. We're on BFOA on 7204. And we have a menu. We don't need it. So, we pull that out. And uh, we have something. We're not receiving too well. So, we're going to fix that. Get the right right radio in there and if you notice we have a spectroscope a little bit of spectroscope and a waterfall display and actually there's nobody on it right there but let's find out general coverage of the ac 991a conditions are not so great today Very weak signals. Some nice features. It's locked in. I'm gonna hit DNR. What's the difference? They cleared up a little bit. Somebody right on the frequency or two. Unlock it. Alright, so we heard a few things. DNR is a digital noise reduction. You have your notch filter. That also clears up a lot of the noise. The shift, you just hit that with your uh, mode switch and you set it back to zero if you like. Turn it off. Your whiff <coughs> allows you to go up to 32 hertz or down to 18. So I keep it at 32 for DNR. Okay. Digital noise filter. It doesn't do too much. Okay. Now box and mox. Mox is your transmit. 
monitors and monitor your uh, audio. Mic EQ. Now that is uh, settings in the menu. Uh, so there's your frequency span and uh, there's your level of all your EQ settings and mine are set preset. All right, you got your mic gain and your power and your pro meter. The sweep is waterfall display, turn it off. Temporarily on, uh, and then hold it in and then it runs all the time. Okay, so what are all these buttons for? Oh, you got your split, A and A equals M, which is all it is, is to uh, save memory. And uh, you got your digital, and I got my set of digital, so now I can go like here, here, and uh, I have all my frequencies programmed in there. Okay. And so, okay, clarifier is like the, a BFO. Lock and fast. A equals B, A slash B. All right. Let's uh, learn how to program this thing a little better. So if I want to, the AC 991 allows you to uh, use 440 and two meters. Let's go to, let's go to 440. So I'm gonna go, and I wanna do, I wanna do C4 FM. I wanna do a digital uh, repeater. So I just go to C4, I go to mode, uh, okay, I'm C4. Make sure that I'm in there. Go to 430, 440 band. So now we'll find a um, we'll find frequency 442900. I know. Let's go there. Be priced, it won't be precisely on. So I hit the lock button. Okay. All right. So if I were to transmit, I might I'd make sure that I am positive offset. So you go to your M list and look for RPTT. Uh, which is your positive negative offset. So you want to go positive. I'm on a right repeater. I'm in digital noise, digital mode, digital noise. Okay, so um, I want to make sure that this repeater works. So, um, The wire X. This is your X button. Get your X button to see if this uh, locks in. Give it a few seconds. And we're connected. Now you see the screen that we're in Carson City and another or another room with 14 rooms in the Battle USA. All over USA. So those are in that room on my repeater. I could talk to those people in that room if they call me, if they're there. So, I doubt if we'll hear anybody at this time. We'll give it a try. Bring the microphone over here. W7, leave my tango golf for a demo. Okay. All right, so. Now this is without the cable hooked up to the computer. And that's another story to get into their rooms all over the world. So if you want to do search direct, do that. The back that search, search all. And it'll tell you all the rooms.
available all the way down. Look at that. All over the world. So I can't go in the rooms because I'm not hooked up. I'll get arrow and you watch. Okay, so I'm not hooked up. But you can talk to these people if you want to do that kind of stuff. Of course, we have to go to uh, ICOM, not ICOM, Yesu, and get their uh, approval on your, uh, what we call code. Okay? So I'm going to get out of here and show you something else, what you could do on a USB cable. Oh, and make sure I make a call. W7 Lima Tango Golf. Looking for anybody anywhere. 400,000 uh, situated in the south island of New Zealand. Uh, it's it's um, sort of one, about 1 p.m. in the afternoon today. I need to go and get some lunch shortly, but I, I just was having a look around on Wires X and uh, thought, oh, that looks an interesting um, channel, Nevada, USA. So I've been had a wee listen and tried to break in a couple of times, but I don't think I was even the repeater. So, uh, nice to catch you guys. Um, the name here is Andrew, and um, I'm running an FG991A with, with Fusion on it, of course. And um, I also work on uh, HF and VHF and UHF of it. So, back, back to you. Uh. So, that's how you program it. Now, once you change the VFO, you lost it. So, what you gotta do is to save memory. So find, okay, back out of there. Hit your AM switch, A, A equals M. Find an open spot, which mine are all programmed already. Let's say, let's go to 35. All right. Hold the AM button. A equals M, actually. Just say it that way. And hold it in. Oops. So. Back again. Do it again. It took too, too long. Okay. And hold it in. Check it. 35. 44 to 900. Okay. Now it's programmed in perfectly. And what do you want to do? If you want to go back to that. Stored in memory, 35. M -E M -E -M 35, 44, 2, 900. DN means digital, okay? That's how simple WireX is. I'm gonna show you a little sample of what WireX sounds like in uh, another video. So I'll mix that two of those up so you can know what it sounds like. So that's how you program. Now, here's another thing you can do. Um, you have a computer. If you have a PC computer and a USB cable, and this is a USB cable right here, hooked up to the computer and hooked up to your radio. The radio has a little different uh, four pin plug, which is a printer cable, and we'll show you how that works. All right, back again, and we'll show you. This is a PC computer. There's a program called Win4 Yesu, which you download from yesu.com. And uh, I'm going to click this on. And you must download the driver for your USB port. Unfortunately, you need to do that. They have that uh, driver at the Yesu. Okay, here comes the program. Now I'm on trial for two more days, so if you think you like this program, you can do this. All right, so hit the continue evaluation, and here comes Yesu, and that's me. That's Disneyland. So I had to restart very, very slow computer.
even a five core computer can be very slow. Now here's the ASUS 991. And now you have everything on front of you. No more menus, it's just right there. So we turn up the AF game. Okay. Yeah, 60 meters, 40 meters, 80 meters, 160, 30, 17, 15, 12 meters. You have everything right in front of you, 10 meters, 6 meters, and 2 meters. Here's your control. MOX is to RF transmit power. Okay. Break in, TXW, transmit, monitor, processor for your modulation, mic EQ on, box. Okay, you got your squelch, RF gain, AF gain. Over here you have your width, your filters, all your filters, noise blanker and all that, it's right here. Now let's try something. Let's go to 40 meters. Frequency a little bit. I'm gonna go memory. It's better on memory. Take the DMR. Blows the digital, digital noise filter off. Maybe there's nobody on frequency today. Speed control for your CW. Ensure all USB, LSB, CW, CWR, and all that. RTTY. Data is C4 FM. Let's turn down the volume. All right. So you get your quick memory here and stuff like that. So clarifier. Yeah, in case somebody's off frequency or something, and you can actually tune them in with here. You can do a simplex mode and uh, you can turn on your uh, repeater tones. Adjust your uh, amp application and receive and stuff like that. And tune and turn on your tuner and all that. So, so if you want this as, as a bigger display, um, Maybe we should go to 20 meters. All right. This uh, shows you this is the program you can get. That, if you want to pay $60 for it, that's worth it. If you want to, but you also can do a remote. So this concludes my showing of uh, the USB connections and general coverage of the uh, 991A. Thank you for watching. I'm Francesco Vine for W7LTG.